hello guys welcome back so in this video we're just going to finish up creating our weather application and for this case we're going to focus on the jetpack composable part and for now here we forgot in the last video here to annotate this with at hilt android view model so that we can tell hilt that the, this one is going to be a view model so that it can inject this class also so beside that we can just jump in here and create our view model uh, we can create our ui so for the case here we are going to create another class so for simplicity just we are not going to create any other packages we're just going to directly create here another class so we are going to call this daily daily with a home so you can try and create a component but our ui is just simple so we are just going to focus on this daily weather home and create all of our screen here so let's create here another composable and this one we are going to call this daily okay now we can start coding here so we can just create some room here first we have to obtain the view model so we can call this daily weather view model and then we can initialize this using the view model function you you have to include the dependency which we have provided inside the build.gradle here you can see we are using lifecycle view model compose in order to access this method now after that you have to provide this model class and for this case here we are going to provide the daily weather view model and for that case we can access the view model inside the composable simple as that now we have to obtain the state which we have initialized inside the view model so after we get this state so we want directly to get the weather now after that we can obtain for example our daily weather info so because we have the current and the daily weather info so we are going to obtain here daily weather daily weather info and this one we can use the state now after that also the background color was something which has a gradient so we have to create a variable that is going to be that of gradient color so we are going to So you can just copy these two colors which we are going to use as our background color now for that we have to create our column which is going to host all of our composables and here we can provide the horizontal arrangement now also here we can try to add a modifier so we are going to add in here modifier then we're going to specify a background color and here we are going to use a brush and we can use a vertical gradient or anything which you wish so for this case here we can pass in our gradient colors which we have provided here so it accepts a list of of these colors so now we want here to specify or to discipline to display the the ui when we have a certain state so if we are loading we are going to display a circular progress bar so if successful we display our result and if we get an error we have to display an error so to do this we are going to use the when statement to specify so now we can write here when so we are going to use this state here because we have a state of weather so we can come inside here so we can specify when this is going to be it is if it is loading and also here we have the state if it is successfully and also if is error so now we have here different states so let's deal first if we are loading here we want to show a circular progress bar now for this case here we can now display a circular progress bar so we want to align this to the center in order to show us so this one is going to be aligned by default to the top edge so we want to align this to the center so we can just keep this arrangement center and here it will be arranged at the center of the composable 
now after that here we want to display an error so for our case we are just going to log here the error so here we are going to display the error so we can use the state oh we did forget so we only have here data so we can come here we forgot here to make this variable val so that we can access it otherwise so it's not going to be accessible so you have to change this here to the message and add this val keyword here so after that here we have to pass in the message because we are going to pass in the error and we can display it here so if you want to display for example and let the user know that there is an error has occurred so you can just do that here now after that we have to focus on the success part so let's create here another composables which are going to be helper composables to display the current weather and also displaying the daily weather let's do this right now okay now let's create here our composables and for this case here now we can use a card and here we can pass in the modifier so we want this to be transparent so that it can reflect the background color which has been provided by the by the composable which is holding this current card now after that we have created our background color now we can create a column that is going to arrange our text so we can pass in the, here the horizontal arrangement And because we have already formatted the time so we are just getting a string format of that time now after that we can create here a row and also we can center this and after that we can add here modifier to provide padding okay now let's create here a column another column because we're going to display this in a row so we want to also to display this text in a column format so for that case you can create here first text and this one is going to be for temperature so we can just easily access this and also here we have to pass in the degree and you can use this by using this sequence escaping sequence format so you just write here u 0 0 b 0 c so this one is going to provide that degree format so here we are escaping this and this one is going to provide that and here is going to be seshas so for that we have created our text now also we can add in here a spacer so that we can space this and for here for our case we are adding 4dp and here we can use the current weather and we can gain our status so for that case we have finished creating the weather status now we have to duplicate this and here we can add a spacer and here we have the space of 8dp now here also we want to find the wind direction and here we want to find the wind speed and this one is going to be double so we are going to convert this to string and also we can add this kilometer per hour because this one is displayed inside the website there so after we have displayed here our column and text and also here we can provide a little bit of space and here we can add 8dp
now we have finished creating our first card here now let's create the second card this one is going to be the card of daily so when we have daily weather card okay now let's create here our daily weather information card and for this purpose we are just going to reuse this so we're just going to copy this and change a little bit so you can just press here ctrl d and it's going to duplicate this card here now what we want to do here is change this one to daily daily weather card and for that case here we are going to pass in daily daily weather info and also we all need this so we are just going to paste this inside here and also we can just copy this and press them inside here and we can delete all of this and we don't want to align this to the center so we're just going to pass in here a modifier and pass in a padding of 4 dp now after that now we can start to customize here because here also we want this time to be centered there so we are going to pass in here a modifier and we are going to pass in a modifier to fill max size and we are going to align this to the center and here now we can pass we can use our daily weather info and pass in the time and here we are going to pass in the temperature so for our case here we want to pass in daily weather information and here we want to pass in the temperature minimum maximum and after that we can just copy all of these so we are going to pass in the maximum and here we are passing the temperature minimum and here we can pass in our daily weather info and pass in the status and here pass now here our weather card is just complete what has remained here is just creating now a place where we can just reuse this. So let's jump inside here now, inside the home screen. Now on success here, we can start now to utilize all of this. Okay, okay now let's... So we get here our current weather. And for that, we can use the let method here and here we can call our current weather so we have just to annotate this with it's nullable so we can call our current weather card here and we can pass in here it so that when this one is going to be null we are just not going to display this weather current weather card now after that we can come here to display our lazy so what we want to do is using the lazy vertical grid and inside here for the cells we can use grid cells so there are different ways which you can use here we are going to use a fixed so if you want to adaptive or fixed so i'm going just to use fixed and we are going to have at most two amount of these and here we have the variable which is called daily weather info and for that purpose we can just rename these two let's try and relearn our application and see if you are going to get any error so our app is launched and we are getting this hello android here because we have forgot to change that inside the main activity so we are using that that template which we are given so we can navigate here to main activity and call in here our composable so we can call our home our daily home screen so if we want again we can rebuild and see what's the output we get so now our app is launched and we have seen here the has been changing here and we have here our data so we have got our application but if you look here this one they are not showing transparency i think we have forgotten to just add that opacity so we can come here to daily weather and we have been adding here to 1f so we want this to be 0.1f 
and not 1f and here we want it to be 0.1f let's try and relearn again now our app is launched and as you can see here we have obtained that opacity so guys if you find value out of this video why not subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to like this video to make this video reach more developers bye bye for now see you in the next video